Well, those against removing federal protections for Yellowstone grizzlies are issuing one final appeal before a key court hearing in Missoula this week. On Thursday, U.S. District Court Judge Dana Christensen will hear arguments in a combined lawsuit questioning whether the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service should be allowed to go through with plans to delist the grizzlies in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is turning over grizzly management to the states with Wyoming and Idaho planning limited hunts for the big bears as soon as September 1st. At a Missoula press conference Tuesday, speakers like wildlife researcher Dr. David Matson argued the recovery plan is flawed and based on out-of-date research, which doesn't consider climate change. The decision to delist prematurely was made on math, not science, not Dr. Matson's science, not the science of, of climate change. It's kind of crazy, you know, and I think what's really behind us is the dollars the people want to make money on something, to kill the grizzly, endangering everybody. It's our fault that they're down below into our places. We're moving up higher into the mountains. It's an ego-driven thing for domination over a species that deserves much better. And we got a lot of esteemed people. And opponents say delisting the bears threatens their recovery.